Sinji as well, though. Been a mainstay. 25th at SmashCon. Good placing for most. Sinji probably looking for a little bit more. Wonderful do it this weekend. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Sinji, one of the long time mainstays in this game for not only Ultimate, also Smash 4, one of just the longest knowing names also in Tri-State in New York City as well. Definitely one of those prides and joys, right? A lot of people are like, oh, well, DeBuzz, you know, but DeBuzz actually moved to New Jersey. Fun fact, he's now the king of New Jersey, not even the king of New York anymore. This is one of your kings of New York right here. Right, let's see how it's gonna go down though between Skittles and Sinji. Like I said, buckle yourselves up. This might be a long one, but it should be a good one nonetheless. Conversions from miles away for both characters and both pilots of these characters definitely can take all of those, you know, projectile openings, the distance, first blood drawn here by Skittles. Yeah, I like how careful Skittles is playing as well. You definitely want to be very weary of a character and a player like this, but this is what Sinji does best, and that is just opening it up with already a 50% combo here. Skittles, though, trying to negotiate, like, get around all of these things, right? Hydrants falling, fruit, and I feel the same way about Sinji here, who is actually going to be starting out on the Pac-Man. No game and watch in sight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very interesting, too, because obviously both characters, like, rely heavily on projectiles, but just for Pac-Man, they linger so much longer, too. Kind of the, the Young Link stuff, it's boomerang, it's arrow, it's coming real fast and disappearing, too, but you got to play a little bit longer of attention to what Sinji is throwing out here. Okay, trying to follow up where Skittles is going to go. I feel like Sinji is just not the Pac-Man to grab. I feel like a lot of the times Pac-Man stand with their back facing the ledge, trying to get the grab and go for the back throw here. I feel like Sinji plays a little bit more active than that. Will be able to find the fair, looking for the Galaga hit. Can't find much else. The up smash is a nice way to break the zone. It's not going to be enough, though. Trying to get some good coverage with the bomb here, too. Do not want to interact directly with that Hydra. So just throwing some projectiles over. Oh, a lot of time. The mix up, no mix up, mix up. We're throwing the key straight through, and then you have the hydrant just bouncing over slowly. I think that's one of the scariest things about fighting oh, yeah. Pac Man. If you're not always constantly aware of what's going on, of what he has, it's just kind of like a, it's kind of a thing where you're always going to be stuck against the wall, just feeling kind of like you're lost here. Galaga, though, not going to be able to connect. So now here comes Skittles trying to approach, trying to get something done, but Sinji not letting go of the defense. Dancing around here, Z-Drop Bomb re-catching with the Nair too, trying to get Sinji to approach while the projectile's in hand. Not going to be the case, just slowly building up this lead. Not going to catch the air dodge away. Okay. Um, uh, just can't find much else. So now I feel like Skittles is just constantly getting tossed from left to right. And Sinji's just like, bet, you want to just throw your boomerang? That's fine. I'll just go behind my hydrant. And I know when the shield, I know the timing. It's all fine and good. But now Skittles just, this is the thing about playing Sinji, playing any zoner. You just can't get frustrated. Even when you're playing another zoner, it's just the fact that you both kind of camp each other out. Mm -hmm. We're all human. We can, we're all susceptible to it. Doesn't matter who you play. You can get camped out. Yep. Okay, gonna be able to down air through the bell here. Can't find much else though. On oh, the side, special not gonna be enough. Going to catch the bomb with the Z grab, but going to see the stock be taken by Skittles. Finally pulling one off from Sinji. Only four minutes and 18 left on the clock though. And it's only first stock that's gone Crazy. just now. Yeah, this is, like we said, it's going to be a longer one. The bomb recovery, though, going to get rid of the timing on the bell here. Now Sinji trying to pluck the apple, just going to toss away the hydrant here. But here comes Skittles okay. trying to break the zone, going to be able to find the first hit, hit of fair, not going to be able to find anything else. That was really good. He caught the jump in that situation as well. Scoop not going to find the final hit. <laughs> Trampoline actually going to do well and give control back to Skittles after free fall. Yeah, Skittles reversed this situation so masterfully oh, yeah. now, and now it feels a lot scarier on this ledge. It feels a lot less planking on the edge and more like you're stuck here. Bell, though, not going to connect all the way, but because Hydrant came through and hit Sinji, uh, Skittles was able to live through the bell here, but it's getting a little bit kind of iffy on this ledge. Very touch and go, too. You never know who's going to be in disadvantage and if it will be their life at that point. Hydrant down here, just kind of a roadblock, wants to see if Apple will connect. It will not. Sinji trying to find a fruit, trying to find a loose hit here. 143 on Young Link should be enough soon. Throwing the apple into the hydrant stream. Not going to be able to find anything. Has it in hand, though. Sinji just going to nair out. Pac-Man, unfortunately, sometimes just cannot KO wow. like that. But wow, taking the apple express all the way out there. But Skittles once more with a reversal. 
Yeah, it's crazy. Sinji throwing a very, very crazy mix-ups at the wall to try to get Skittles off of this stock. And it just kind of seems like once the overextension has happened, Skittles able to capitalize. Really solid movement from the ledge to get that stock. Yeah, going for the grab too. Sinji now has to change play styles completely. And it's crazy how Skittles is still... Never mind. I was about to say... <laughs> It's crazy how Skittles is still approaching because, you know, you're, you want to hold on to this rage as long as possible. And now we're at a Wild West standoff, and sometimes you just take your time. Mm -hmm. Stalemate will settle itself out eventually. Oh, trying to get both players trying to jump up there to Skittles, trying to throw out a down air. Sinji throwing out the Hydrant, winning for that. Okay, Sinji getting caught up in some of the mix now, trying to nair out, but it seems like Skittles has everything under control right now. He definitely catches the apple, though. It's always this bomb into the down air. It's not KOing just yet, but it's doing a lot of damage to you. Mm -hmm. Galaxian in hand here, too. Sinji trying to use it as an approaching option, kind of clear out the entire space that is in front before he walks forward. Not going to catch a landing. There's a nair in there to beat through the Galaxian. Very good from Skittles, working in that tight zone. Sure, using the bomb to break the Hydrant here. It's last stock. It could go either way. And we're about to hit time even in game number one of the set, but the double hit into the Hydrant Bomb, that's actually going to even things up for Sinji here. If he gets a hit on this bell, could be very much trouble here, but I feel like Skittles went to go grab it and then second guess himself, right, and he was right. like, I want no part of that. I'm not playing those games, too. I'm not going in there with the master. Ooh, up smash, and that is going to be it. Skittles, great hold once more. Playing against Pac-Man is so tough. And it's crazy, too, there, because I feel like that game was really decided through that second stock when Skittles just had a crazy, I think it was like 70 to 80% just in one ledge trap situation that really brought that game back into reach for the young Link. Yep. Like I said, this one is going to be a long one, but there's so much to talk about, right. too. It's just the way that Skittles is going in with the reversal every single time, being playing very confident and recognizing when your advantage is over. It's so good. But now we're going on into final destination here. It's going to be the first time I think we've seen it all blocked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very true. I, you know, flat stage has not come to play quite yet, but it will here in the zoner matchup. Double fair going out there. No recovery option online. Sinji, huge lead already. Yeah, this is definitely not what you want to see if you're Skittles, right? I mean, you didn't even take a percent in your first couple seconds of being out on the field. And now Sinji just doing what he does best and stacking on all of this what i like to call loose damage right where it doesn't really connect into anything serious but you're still stacking on that damage it's definitely just not a good feeling yeah that nickel and dime percent you just keep adding it up it eventually will pay off in the end oh the approaching down air too what are we going for finally crosses up I feel like that approaching down air is just like everything that I've t been told not to do in like <laughs> yeah, my yeah, entirety yeah. of like trying to learn Smash. I was like, don't go for the down air. That's the obvious option. But the way that Skittles is using it is so funny here. But Sinji already has lapped the Skittles now and just looking to extend this lead even further as Skittles just trying to find a way to find Ooh. this aerial. But that forward air, the foot just preventing certain stock loss. Yeah, that was crazy too. The idling bomb right there almost blew up perfectly for Skittles combo. Oh, locked in line here too. Great tech off the wall. Hey, Sinji, looking for the orange. Not going to be able to find it, but no tech. With trampoline, you should be able to make it back, but Skittles not making it as easy as possible for Sinji here. Trying to find the up air. I feel like if it was the forward air, it would have actually done it, but good on Sinji to mix up the DI just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Hydrant in line here to get us a high bounce on it. Do not want to jump in that area. Hey, Pac-Man grab. Finally, right. we're seeing it, right? After this long here, going to throw out the apple here, trying to get the ledge trap, wow. and that was great ledge trapping from Sinji. This is why he's one of the best with this character. And now Sinji up three stocks to one. Honestly, another aerial from Skittles can definitely do it, but then you have two fresh Pac-Man stocks to deal with. Definitely a mountain for the pride of the heartland in the Midwest. This could be tough, but still working through boomerang to come right under the hydra but still gets kind of stuffed out as it's bouncing forward okay going to be able to get the hydrant hit but good on skittles to get the tech here hero spin will just be punished with a down throw here let's see what sinji's going to be able to do has the bell out i like how skittles just playing it passive and honestly just the water actually stunning sinji there for a quick second trampoline to get out of the situation both players broken up the line in the sand is that hydrant yeah it's so scary too you definitely just don't want to give up your advantage if you are skittles but you also don't want to just let sinji do whatever he wants to has bell in hand will try and knock him into it not going to be able to find it 
honestly, these DBZ trades are not looking good for Skittles at mm -hmm. all. Yeah, any additional damage here is perfect for Sinji. Trying to find a grab forward air here, middle of the stage. Got to make this edge guard count. Oh, water boost not going to work out for Skittles. Don't know if he was intending to do that. Would have been nice if it helped, Ooh, though. Been sick. Ooh, but the apple once more. An apple of what? And what do they say? An apple. An a apple day. a day keeps the doctor away. In this case, the young link. Yep. It's going to be Sinji bringing it right back. 1-1 one, one here. Like we said, going to be a long one, but it's still so close every single time. I think what really helped Sinji there was just that opening stock, just getting all the way ahead because Sinji zoners, they know how to hold a lead like that. And once Pac-Man has that lead, there's no way that it's dropping. Mm -hmm. And it was so good for Sinji to keep pressing forward on that initial edge guard as well. Did not give Skittles any time to pull a bomb or get any resources that could have helped Young Link recover from that deep off stage too. Very commendable game three here. Split decision game. You win this one, it goes to game five. You get counter pick advantage for the stage. Huge stakes on the line. For sure. Here we go though on Pokemon Stadium to Tri State and everybody else's home that I've learned. Now it's going to be Skittles just getting this early percentage lead here. We'll see. I mean, this is the swing game when you really think about it. This game is super important here. You're going to have at least a stage advantage going into game number five if there is one. But now Sinji playing the, like he doesn't even want a game five right now, just wants to extend the lead. But one thing that I can say about Skittles is that the way he moves with this character is super fun to watch. Mm -hmm. Extremely confident as well. Maneuvers are so well between projectiles, not very like stop and go. It's a flow state. There's really no time between like if he's going to do something with or without the boomerang, without the arrow, without the bomb. Okay, Sinji though, going to drop the hydrant here. That'll take care of the bomb arrow. Gives him plenty of time to get the Galaxian. See what he's going to be able to do off of it. Bell though is going to be coming out. Just going to be able to punish for the jab. Sending the hydrant out good on Skittles to just shield and still trying to approach out of the corner. Taking their sweet time. It's okay for Skittles not to push the advantage as far. Going to get the hit on the Hydrant. Let's see if he's going to be able to get the stock here. Whoa! Z-drop bomb from the corner. That down there has been a saving grace for Skittles throughout this entire one. Able to seal up so many stocks. Finds another one here. Okay. Going to be able to, once again, try and extend the lead as much as possible. Here comes Sinji, though. The Brute Pull is going to be punished by the bomb. Great parry, though. I feel like a lot of the times what players kind of forget to learn in this game is how to parry a lot of... Um, a lot of moves, right? Right. And especially in some of these matchups where you need to learn how to parry projectiles, it really does help. But nice confirmed by Sinji, gonna be able to get the bell into the up smash. Mm -hmm. Not much extra credit to speak of either actually getting Skittles trapped on these platforms here too. Great falling there, Boomerang comes in. Ooh, that was crazy. The momentum just shifted insanely. Sinji with this 24%, trying to pick it up with the Nair, not gonna be able to find anything. So now Skittles is on the attack right now, but Sinji threw himself into the corner and that's where he prefers to be. Mm -hmm. Working around here, able to shield and grab the Laxian. Give me this forwarder coming off this platform once again. That was a rinse and repeat of the same situation we saw on the left side. Skittles ends it differently, though. Great hero spin. I uh, can't find it, but will pick up the fruit at least for a moment. Skittles now letting the percentage flee away from him as Sinji is once more just going to be very confident. Taking the Hydrant away, has Bell in hand, but Gray Parry though by Skittles coming out now. It seems a lot more manageable. It, seem, it seems like Skittles is no longer afraid of what Sinji has in store, but the Ooh. Bell going to connect, not going to be enough. Yeah, no big hit, no time to line something else big up there, but the small positioning advantage it gave has led into this entire edge guard. Bomb exploded here too, not another one in hand. The four tilt angle down from Sinji will give a stock lead here. That's kind of like the crazy part, right? A lot of the times players would just go in for that F smash, but just the forward tilt saying, you know what, you're, you're already gone. Let me just kind of like help you out there. But you now it is going to be Sinji, 82%. Not looking like he's going to lose the stock at least very soon here. Off stage, going to Z drop the bomb here. Skittles trying to find the down air. Hitboxes will trade. It's not going to be enough to take the stock, but now Sinji just going to roll on and even going to be able to find a down air of his own. It's so interesting because Skittles, I think something that was so big in that last game, was able to get so much damage off of the edge guard. Z-drop bomb over the trampoline and just kind of stalling at Sinji's recovery, making him take an extra 20, 30, 40 after eating so many bombs. 
Oh, just not, doesn't seem to be lining up here. I think Sinji's making big adaptations. Adam, absolutely, and definitely done kind of dancing on Skittle Shield for sure. But the Ooh. forward air, gonna be able to find it. This is what I love talking about with Younglings too. A lot of the times Younglings are just looking for like that hero spin and the up air confirmed. But forward air is such a strong aerial on that character. Sinji though has a bell in hand and only the worst intentions here. Has it spinning and it's gone. Gonna get launched off the side by that hydrant. So nasty to see all the beer versus coming in here from Skittles as well. Trying to maneuver in and find a way to get these boomerangs. Because you can't just take the straightforward line versus this pack, man. Yeah, absolutely. Sinji, though, going to re-grab Bell here. Get some timing refresh. Going to at least send it right back. You're seeing once more the Wild West standoff of projectiles here. Skittles trying to read the jump. Not going to be able to find anything. Here comes Sinji, though. Going to be able to get the first hydrant hit. Has Bell in hand. Skittles has to be so careful because Sinji just dash dancing. Nothing wow. scarier than that. But the bum actually going to save Skittles from the side special. Oh, give me this arrow. This could be a big line. Not going to get the point blink. Boomerang in the air to air. Forced off stage once again here, too. You see Skittles not even opting to go for ledge there. The bomb. Oh, my goodness. Sinji lining up in there. But the bomb again being a savior. Right. Here comes Hydrant, though. Good shield. Once more, Skittles okay. going to approach here, trying to use all of the rage to potentially get a forward air, but not going to be able to find anything. That up toss on bomb was so sick, too. You know Sinji was going high. Just not enough height on it. Okay, Sinji for the Hydrant, but Skittles going to go a little bit high here, committing it all to that down air. Sinji going to be able to find a down air of his own, but just going to re-grab Apple, trying to get the wow. ball and hitbox of it. He's not going to be able to find anything. Apple despawned at the perfect time there to Skittles. Being blessed. Got to watch out here to another apple in hand. That can linger. Hydrant just chilling, sputters away, but lets, the, lets it fly through the hydrant. I see you. Oh, my goodness. And that is going to be Apple coming in up off of the water. It's going to be Sinji taking advantage here. 2 1 over Skittles. Yeah, crazy, crazy stuff there for Sinji, too. And it's just like, you know, Skittles was doing everything in his power to maneuver around those projectiles, too. But just like once being thrown off stage, Sinji just had a superior game plan to be able to hold that and take and add damage to the young link. You have to think how mentally taxing this matchup is oh, on both yeah. sides. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, the thing is, zoner v zoner, no matter what side you kind of look at it, it's so mentally taxing. And you really have to be constantly adapting to each other as well. So honestly, it is going to be Sinji getting a nice apple combo coming out of the game right now. About 50%. Skittles, though, now going to have their time to shine. Can't find much else, though, as Sinji definitely feels a little bit more comfortable here. Orange from the middle of the stage here, too, catches the no tech. Not going to find the hydrant on the down throw, too. Really good maneuvering back, using the stage to glide up and grab ledge. You see Skittles trying to just put these arrows at perfect height, too, to go straight over the hydrant. It is very, very precise. Absolutely. Skittles, though, and Sinji are going to trade hits right now. Sinji, though, just going for the up tilt. Can't find much else. Trying to find these back airs, too, but just perfectly content with just not leaving the hydrant side. Oh, I think Skittles should have grabbed that bell. That would have been kind of funny mm -hmm. if we saw it. But regardless, it's going to be back into this neutral here. Nobody wants to give up their spot. Right. So it's just like the war of attrition, just slowly choking each other out of a lead until we can start to open up some bigger hits, but not finding it right now. Bomb right in front, grabbed by Pac-Man, just getting pelted on the shield. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely looking a little bit scarier for Skittles as the time ticks here. Trying to get the bell, not going to be able to find anything. So here comes Sinji. Even having the water push him back is very helpful, too, because you're just being safer and safer. There's the catch, but the catch is now punished by the F-Smash. It's going to be Sinji taking point right now. Big brain moves there, too, baiting Skittles into jumping into the projectile. Okay, here we go. Trying to find something else, but now Sinji with the Galaxian. Not going to be able to get too much off of it. 27% is still a lot, though. The hero spin going to catch Sinji up. I like how Skittle's trying to go for the back air extension, but not going to be able to find anything. Mm -hmm. Run up in the face of danger there, too. Sinji was stuck in the corner, but Skittle's not able to find too much for it. Still holding position. Sinji using all the jumps to get back into stage and regain neutral. Skittles needs to find an answer, but now Galaxian out. And I love how Sinji's always trying to kick you into it. He'll just throw it out there, but boom, if it's not working, I'm going to try and just kick you there. But regardless, Skittles has to take back the stock as soon as possible. And Sinji, no sign of letting it up just yet. Okay, here we got the four airs after the arrow. Here we go. Down throw on the cherries, just letting it fly. Okay. 
Skittles has a little bit of a ledge drop here. He's still got trampoline and Ooh. the bomb, but unfortunately, while everything was lined up, just couldn't find the answer. And now Sinji on the verge of getting to lap Skittles here. Skittles, like I said, just trying to find an aerial, trying to find a, a trap, something. Not going to be able to find it, though. Forward tilt playing with the Hydrant to send it at perfect height there, too. That's just Sinji's mastery of the character, able to maneuver and hit the hits we need to put that Hydrant where we want. Down air on it. Great tech from Sinji, though, to avoid. Ooh, okay, trying to read where the DI was going to go. Unfortunately, just way far out than what Sinji had thought. So now Skittles looking for potentially a forward air. Look for a down air, can't find much else. Just using the trampoline wow. to stack on more damage. Uh, honestly, Skittles, you need an answer, but the dash attack is even just going to create such a further canyon in this lead. It's so rough to get back in. Can't even find the grab either. And now Sinji just capitalizing so much off of everything that's going on. 163, not even Young Link Nair could do it. Still will be okay. We'll have the trampoline to recover. Mm -hmm. That's how we've been seeing Skittles get so much extra damage on two, where it starts to see those stray hits, find kills, just rinse and repeat those bomb Z drops at the corner too. 192 on Sinji. Damn near anything would take the stock at this point. But the problem is, Script, you just have to find it. Yes. And with no tech on the platform, it is going to be Skittles finding the up air there. A 210 Ooh. after the sh shot, but geez. I mean, Skittles using all that rage and now trying to find an answer. Sinji, though, still has Bell in hand at this point and now just going to try and probably send it on a Hydrant Express, but the F smash there. Skittles, you need an answer. You need it now. Yeah, Skittles definitely was feeling himself after that first 60% there, too. Maybe reached it a little too far, and Sinji capitalized with a lethal efficiency. Absolutely. And now it's all about Sinji and how he wants to take this game home. 60% on Pac-Man, especially after living for so long is just not enough here. Ooh, trampoline kind of getting in the way here. Skittles only going to be able to find one bomb arrow, but things are looking a lot more fluid for Skittles right now. But unfortunately, the up smash and the trampoline just not going to be working out in his favor. Give me this fire arrow. Great tech from Sinji to get away from the awaiting forward air. Okay go. I, I mean, this is actually much more doable than before. Sinji, though, trying to find a dash attack, but that was a little bit greedy coming off the ledge there. As Skittles going to be able to punish here. Definitely got the Midwest crowd cheering for their boy. Got it at this point. Find it deep within you, but Skittles is playing fantastic on this last time. Mm. With a roll behind, jumps right into the down air, though, too. You have to get out of the corner versus Sinji. This is where the money is made. Grab not going to be found. Great jump away from Sinji. Line in the sand, drawn. Skittles seems to cross it. We're going into enemy territory here. Galaxian, though, not going to get anything, and that's so crucial in Sinji gameplay here. About 60%. I mean, Skittles has done a fantastic job of swinging the match back in his favor. Hero spin into the up air here. If I'm Sinji, I have to back up. I have to reset neutral here. Going to be pulling the bell, try and get the F smash at this point. Wow. But it's still Skittles placement right now of the bomb, just allowing for Sinji to just not find a safe place to hide. Yeah, there's nowhere he can land that Skittles does not have something going towards the stun there too, only able to line up the up air. Skittles just too far away. Not gonna land right into the fire. Tech neutral will be safe. Oh, looking for a Z drop on the on the bell, maybe, my goodness. One minute left about trying to find the forward air, but Sinji going to take it all the way back up to the stage. No trampoline needed, but the back air will actually take it. You got the crowd filling in a little bit more and got the little fist bump there. We're going to game number five. Who would have expected that? Script? I mean, <laughs> oh my goodness. Do you, I mean, if you just take a screenshot of that second stock, it was like down 120%. Oh, yeah. Skittles able to bring that one all the way back and Sinji betting that entire game on the bell to connect at the end there on that left side of the stage and shout out to Skittles for being able to recognize that, seal it out with the back air. Not an option you see kill all too often. No, definitely not at all, but good on Skittles to keep that mental fortitude against a player like Sinji. We are going to game number five, the last game in this block here. Winner moves on into winner's side, top 48. The loser going down into loser's bracket. They're both so close to that day three finish line. I'm sure both of them don't want to fall short. I mean, this is crazy. Going to a game five here, too. These single games have taken so long. So much has been taken out of these players. Just got to drag it across the finish line. Yeah, and if I'm Skittles, I'm realizing, you know what? I'm, I'm fired right now. I can definitely start approaching here. If I'm Sinji, I want to stop the fire as much as possible right now. Both of them kind of scrapping here. It's very interesting that we're going to 
this stage, like Town and City as yeah. well, especially versus a character like Young Link, and especially a player like Skittles, who can really go off there with that forward air, and especially with small sides. But the thing is, you've got a higher ceiling for the down air and the up air as well. So we'll see how this one is going to play out. But so far, I think both of these players really love that FD transformation, right. just so they can be a little bit more safe. Yeah, to, to your point you made uh, in the last game, it really felt like Sinji was getting like smothered by all the options that Skittles was throwing out. But like with a t stage like Town and City, you have so much more room to work with so many different platform layouts, you can eventually find some safe ground. Absolutely. Skittles, though, just taking sweet time here. Both of them do not want to let go of this advantage that they may build right Ooh. now. Trying to find the down air off of the boomerang hit here. And Skittles just trying to get rid of this Hydrant as fast as possible. Sinji, though, going to get the bell taken away. Let's see if Skittles is going to be able to play with that bell. Yeah, let's see if Skittles can give Sinji a taste of his own medicine. The drop comes after the hit, though. Unfortunate. Going to get paralyzed there. Forward smash for Sinji. First stock off here in game five. Yeah. Goes to the Pac-Man. Yeah, the thing is, as well, you can already see. Oh! I was about to talk about how great it was that Sinji just kind of fell, but this is kind of the back-to-back, -back, like, stocked action that we love to see in, you know, Smash when it's just two players running at each other. We're not expecting it to find it from two zoners. Good on Skittles, though, has that moxie, has that drive to continue on. Right, the human out from underneath the zoner is coming out. Like, I just want to scrap, bro. Like, please, <laughs> I'm done throwing projectiles. True. Sometimes you just kind of like lose your way and you're just like, man, please just approach me. Like, <laughs> I'm tired of this. But regardless, Sinji still has the percentage lead right now. Skittles just trying to get away this Hydra, going to be shielding it. Has the bomb out, or has the boomerang out, excuse me, but they're both just pairing each other's projectiles super well. Boomerang coming down, got the shield drop in time, trying to rise with an aerial, not going to find it. Sinji with a great air to air trade. Okay, Bell is out, good on Sinji just to get the poke out from the shield. Has Bell, it's not gonna bounce up like I think he had hoped it would, but here comes Skittles trying to find that aerial, find, trying to find the bomb hit. Not gonna be able to find much else though. So now Skittles looking for the Zare too. And I like the way that we're backing up, but we're still poking yes. out offense. It's very important. Yeah, very good point. I mean, just with the beer versus Skittles throwing out, you can be so sneaky with how you wanna keep the aggression going and put yourself in a safer spot. You see it right there. Yeah. Absolutely. And it's doing such a great job of closing in the gap in percentage as well, too. So Skittles able and going to actually use the bomb to, you know, kind of stall off stage for a little bit. Still kind of there. Let's see if Sinji's going to be able to pick up on the timing. That was so scary. Unfortunately, face the other way for Skittles, but still going to be able to make it back. And it's so interesting. In Skittles set versus Bacon, we saw him run that back six or seven yeah. <laughs> times, too. So the bomb stall coming into play here versus Sinji in this game five. Up smash off the bell. Bell has been playing out of its mind here in this game five. Real MVP here for Sinji. Yeah, the thing is about Sinji is that he's holding on to it. That's what's kind of scary. I feel like a lot of times Pac-Man players just kind of throw out their their option here as Skittles now takes 57, 65% off of that one interaction. Such a bummer, but if we know anything about Skittles and that we've learned this entire Ooh. set, he's able to get these stops very quickly. And then we are going on to last stock as Midwest starting to get loud for their boy. What a call out there too. Sinji really wanted to get back onto center stage, get feet on flat ground, but the down air came out. Oh my, really weird trade there. Yes, uh, odd trade, but the thing is now is that Skittles is blood hungry Ooh. for it. Going to be able to down air the Bell, it yeah. looked like. A little bit odd there, but now Sinji gonna be able to parry, but now Skittles just fighting his way back. 39% tacked on, 46 now uncontested, has been at this 115 for a while. Bell right in front, Skittles stands tall in front of it, though not gonna get paralyzed. Trying to rack on some damage here, upward boomerang not gonna connect. Out of shield with the Nair from Sinji. Okay, hitting the Nair down, can't find much else though. So now it is all the Skittles show. How do you wanna play Ooh. around this? The Nair is going to connect but it is going to send Skittles to the other side here. 131 is a lot of rage script. If he's able to find the forward air off the side, it could potentially do it, but the bell is going to connect. The back air, not going to be enough. Town and City is pretty big. We got the hydrant though. You got to be worried about it. Apple lingles for a long time. There again, Skittles has to get out of this corner. So oh scary my goodness. too, has the trampoline there. Good air dodge though. Sinji though going to cover the option with the Nair once more. It may not be KOing, but it's definitely getting him in a favorable position. The Apple not wow. going to connect all the way, but it did a ton of shield damage here. Skittles at 174, anything could happen here. That Hydrant own, is owned by Skittles. Walking back and forth oh. here, but the downward throw on the Apple will seal the game and the set for Sinji. You saw the emotion come out at the very end there too. Hard fought 
by both competitors. Congratulations to Sinji and Skittles. Really put it all on the line there. I'd be scared to fight that man in losers. Wow. Yeah, now, that was what a, <laughs> what a grueling set. I, I mean, for me, casting zoners is always something that's going to take a long time because zoners really kind of like think about their options when they throw it out sometimes. But man, just the back and forth that Skittles was providing at that point, just being able to come off the angel platform, get it down here, and you know, move on to the next stack was awesome. But speaking of moving on, we are going to be signing off now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys follow Script and follow myself. You guys will also be able to see us on top eight tomorrow. So today was like our little warm up here as we're getting our inner synergies oh, working you know out it, there. You know it. But regardless, we are going to be sending it to Psy and Nerf, who Ooh. I know are going to absolutely kill it. Don't go anywhere. You guys are watching Riptide 2022.